Welcome to part 5, installing OS X with uh, Empire EFI. Here you see the boot screen of the computer, ugly ass boot screen. And in here you can see, I went into the BIOS um, just to check out some stuff and do some tweaking. I don't have a floppy so I disabled the floppy drive. I also disabled the full screen logo and change which uh, boot device is the first. You're going to have to set it to CD-ROM because you're going to boot with a CD and the second one has to be a hard drive. There we go, disable full screen logo. USB keyboard function should be enabled. And most important of all, the RAID uh, mode has to be a AHCI. If you don't do that, it won't work. And you can see here, CPU smart fan control is enabled. And I save that and reboot. This is sped up because I need to make this video under, under 10 minutes. So you, you put the Empire EFI CD inside and let it boot from that. It will get this boot screen. You take out the CD and in, put in the Snow Leopard DVD and press F5. And you will get the Mac OS X installed DVD and you press enter. And there's going to be a whole lot of text. It's, it looks really looks like the computer is crashing or something. But don't worry, it's uh, actually supposed to be like this. Also, I found out that uh, with uh, the BIOS version F7, this went really nice. I, after a while I uh, did upgrade the BIOS and I had some problems installing for this video when I was using the newer BIOS. So if you're having problems, use the F7. Here we are in installation. I chose English. You have to go to Disk Utility. And you will get a list of your drives on the left side here. There's my 500 gig. I mark it and choose partition. I want to have one partition. Give it a name, HD. Make sure it is Mac OS Extended Journaled. And also make sure it's, uh, the partition table is guide. It should not be master boot record. Apply this and confirm. And the drive is now being partitioned to one big 500 gig partition for Snow Leopard. I have a little bit of a cold, so sorry for the noises. Then uh, there we're done. Quit disk utility. Continue the installation. And here's the EULA and user license agreement. And somewhere in here it says you can't do this on a non-Apple computer. I didn't see it. Here you can you choose which drive you install on, and I choose to customize. Do you want to have QuickTime 7? I don't need X11. And I'm gonna get rid of 1.1 gigabyte of language. I really don't need Russian and Korean and Japanese, so 1.1 gigabyte of language gone, and you press install. And uh, after about a minute or two, you see here it's just saying installing Mac OS X on the disk HD. After two or three minutes, the installation has gathered enough information to estimate the time of installation, usually around 30 minutes. <coughs> Sorry. And here you see 27 minutes. So just kick back, grab a cup of coffee or something. And here we are, 20, 30 minutes later. It says nine minutes, suddenly finished. And install succeeded. Just restart the computer. And you swap the 
Snow Leopard DVD with the Empire EFI DVD again. This first time you have to boot with the, the boot CD. But this time uh, you choose the hard drive and boot from the hard drive. You don't do like you did five minutes ago. And you see the same stuff here and suddenly a nice little video appears. Welcome. And there we are. Well, where are you in the world? I'm in Norway. So I choose Norway. Which keyboard layout do you want? I have a Norwegian keyboard. Do you want to transfer information? No. Do you have Apple ID? No. And registering your information. You just input whatever you want. I input my name and my mail address and my phone number here. And I don't want the whole world to see it. Where are you going to use this computer and what you're going to use it for? I have to choose other because go to porn is not on that list. That was a setup for your username count, username on your account and your password. And there you are, Bob's your uncle. You're in OS 10 now. First, OS 10 is going to ask you which keyboard you have. And this is important. You have the Empire EFI CD inside. You have to run the MyHack installer. It installs a bootloader and some texts that you will need. Just press continue and agree and install. OS 10 will ask you for your administrator password or your user account password. And you can just close these windows. And my hack installer is probably going to go for like three or four minutes until it's done. And there we go. Success. You just close this. It says you can reboot your system when you are ready. So we are going to take uh, out the CD, reject, and then we're going to reboot it. And this time, when you reboot, you will boot with the bootloader that my hack installer just installed on your system. I chose not to speed this up because it will show the, you the actual boot time of the computer. You don't have to wait for that blue line to time out. You can press enter and enter again. And here's the boot screen. And you're into Snow Leopard. Congratulations, you got yourself a Hackintosh.